Hello, Facebook friends. It's Maggie from Personal Euphoria for today's plank story. I'm sorry about the backlight, but this bench here plays a role in my plank story today, so I figured it seemed fitting. Um, today's plank story is going to be 60 seconds, and I'll do my best to stay on track here. You can set up for plank. The clock starts now. Uh, so earlier today, I was running a, a workshop about breathing and movement techniques for stress reduction for a company who's all started working from home. And I was thinking to myself how funny stress is. It's not one size fits all. We can all respond differently when under stress. And I was thinking of the times that something stressful has happened and I feel like I've come out like a rock star and been a superhero. Other times, for example, last year, Matt like stubbed his toe and he got like a flap of skin and I was useless. I couldn't even come in the same room as him. Earlier this year, I had a very minor procedure on my wrist. It's like two inches long. But when I took the bandages off and saw the original scar, I could not even look at my own hand. I was, I'm just, I was a disaster. It's not something I'm good at. I, I'll never be a doctor or um, a nurse. So extra kudos to them right now. However, since we've been in quarantine, I did have to do a minor medical procedure on myself. So our house was built in 1666. There's a lot of wood and it's old dry wood. And so I was sitting on this bench and I slid and I gave myself a splinter in my derriere. Pause there, you've done a minute and 20 seconds already. Matt was asleep, so then I had to extract the splinter myself. I took a picture of it because I was quite proud of the splinter afterwards, although it's like, it's not that good. And it's not that good because when I was in high school, I was, I sat outside in front of a tree by my high school and I sat on a thorn this big and had to take that out of my derriere. So I've got to be careful about where I sit. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. I hope everyone is feeling good. Thank you for listening to our plank story. Uh, and I hope it's motivating you to at least do a short plank. Uh, also, if, there, if you want to give me a theme, throw out a theme. And uh, sometimes that gives me ideas for plank stories, even if they're older stories. And I'll try to match a, the a plank story to the theme you give me, if I've got one. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.